Traveling is a means to success. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected. Top traditional Papua New Guinean food and dishes to try when you are in Papua New Guinean. Papua New Guinea is a country located in Oceania that includes the eastern half of the island of New Guinea and its offshore islands in Melanesia, a region of the southwestern Pacific Ocean north of Australia. The country is best known for mainly two things, snorkeling and the Virgin Islands. It is also full of rich resources, nomadic tribes and warm people. Kokoda. This is one of the typical dishes of Papua New Guinea, but it is also present in Fijian cuisine. This dish consists of fish, which is cooked in coconut sauce and lime sauce. Additionally, you can add a lot of seasonings and salts to enhance the flavor. The final preparation looks quite similar to ceviche, making it a much enjoyed dish by locals and tourists alike. It is available in a large number of restaurants and food stalls throughout the country. Shirl Peace No Rise This is one of the simplest dishes found in Papua New Guinea. It consists of fish and white rice, and it is important to note that the fish used is usually canned. In addition, multiple types of fish can be used, although the most common is tuna. Also, different vegetables, spices and condiments can be added if desired, such as adobo, corn, peas, onions and tomatoes. It can be enjoyed as an appetizer before the main course or as a main course directly, and is usually eaten cold. Taimabona Gatoi Taimabona Gatoi is a vegetable dish consisting of aubergine, peppers, onions and courgettes. Before cooking, all the vegetables are dipped in olive oil, vinegar, garlic and spices or herbs. This dish usually complements main courses such as meat and fish. It can also be enjoyed with other dishes at different times of the day, such as lunch or dinner. Chicken Pot This dish, as its name suggests, consists of chicken stewed with various types of vegetables and coconut cream. It is also a very tasty dish, which can be served with white rice, bread or other foods. This dish is often prepared on weekdays to share with friends or family. However, it can also be enjoyed in restaurants without any inconvenience. Burgundy Egg Drop Soup This soup is one of the most popular soups that can be found in the country, and it is also extremely nutritious thanks to the large number of ingredients included. These include spinach, choco and spring onions. The soup is usually served with freshly baked soda bread. It is available in many restaurants and independent shops. Dia Sweet Sago Dish This dish combines sago and plantain ingredients, cooked in a thick coconut cream. Sometimes called Saksak Dia by the Motu people of southern Papua New Guinea, they are used interchangeably due to differences in cooking styles. Some traditional cuisines do not use sugar, but use the sweeter bananas to sweeten the food. Cow Cow, Sweet Potato This dish can be prepared with a wide variety of sweet potatoes, one of the most commonly used for its preparation is sweet potatoes. Once baked and softened, it is necessary to carefully remove the skin and mash them with some additional ingredients, such as coconut oil and milk, cinnamon, eggs, cheese, ginger and garlic. Once the mixture is ready, it needs to be served again in the removed skin. Afterwards, they should be put back in the oven and wait a few minutes, until they are ready to eat. Saksak, Sago Pearls Dumpling This dish is very typical of the Papua New Guinea coast. It consists of dumplings which are made into a rectangular shape. This dish is also made with sago, sometimes this ingredient is substituted with cassava, on the other hand, mashed plantain is also added. After a homogeneous dough has been formed, it is necessary to wrap it in banana leaves. After that it is necessary to boil this dough in coconut milk, the cooking process only takes a few minutes. It is very common to enjoy this preparation during lunch or dinner. Talautu Talautu is a traditional popun dessert that is prepared using shredded coconut flesh, pineapple pieces, sugar, lemon juice and coconut milk. 
All these ingredients are mixed in a bowl and then consumed, ideally in coconut shells. This popcorn dish is generally consumed after a big meal. It is extremely easy to make and yet extremely refreshing. Mumu Mumu is a traditional Papua New Guinean dish that is made in a pit or a hole in the ground, similar to the Maori honey delicacy or Peruvian pacamanca. The pit is filled with hot stones and banana leaves are then placed to line the pit. Finally, layers of ingredients like leafy greens, root vegetables, meat, fruit and a huge amount of coconut milk fill up the leaves. Savaloy Savaloy is a highly seasoned and very English sausage. I knew he had made its way to Australia, but did not know you could find a smelly in Papua New Guinea. Turns out they are literally everywhere, very very cheap and a bit spicy as Savaloy's go. Tilapia, Motu Fresh water fish such as tilapia, known as motu, feature prominently in coastal and riverine Papua New Guinean cuisines. Found naturally across tropical Africa, Asia, and Oceania, tilapia thrive in pings rivers, lakes and lagoons. Both indigenous and introduced varieties are eaten. Traditional motu cooking methods include baking or grilling whole fish over an open fire, cooking chunks or fillets in coconut milk curries or soups, or pan-frying seasoned fillets. Kumu, edible green vegetables. In Papua New Guinean, edible, highly nutritious green vegetables are known as kumukumus. These include leaves such as runja, kangkong, amaranth, ibica, and more. Grown by about a third of the rural population, cooked young leaves are eaten along with raw fruit of numerous fig-bearing trees, with kumu masong, hairy vegetables, frequently eaten. A common Papuan saying is no kumu, no kai which essentially translates to no greens, no dinner. Taro, root vegetable in many Papua New Guinean regions, taro corm, along with the leaves is a staple crop and a part of the traditional diet. In fact, taro is known as Imo amongst the Eurapment people of Ping and is one of the main sources of sustenance. In Papua New Guinea, foods for special events often comprise the same food items eaten usually, but prepared in a different way. Taro, for instance, is pounded with much more preparation than usual, and then mixed with coconut oil. Pudding Fruit Pudding fruit, also known as breadfruit, is a tropical fruit that grows abundantly in Papua New Guinea. It is versatile and can be boiled, baked, or fried. The cooked fruit has a starchy texture and is often served as a side dish or used in desserts. Beetle nut Beetle nut holds cultural significance in Papua New Guinea and is often chewed as a stimulant and social tradition. The nut is usually combined with lime powder and wrapped in a beetle leaf before being chewed. While not a food in the traditional sense, the beetle nut plays an important role in the country's cultural practices. Banana and Coconut Bread Banana and coconut bread is a popular snack or dessert in Papua New Guinea. Ripe bananas and grated coconut are combined with flour, sugar, and eggs to create a moist and flavorful bread. It is enjoyed with a cup of tea or as a sweet treat throughout the day. Instruction before eat check food is halal or haram. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.